Okay, now that we've talked about the syllabus and the grades tab, I want to go back and I want to talk more about that home tab. All of your coursework for the entire semester will be posted on the home tab. And it may look something like this. I may change it from semester to semester, but it will always be posted on the home tab and you will always navigate from the top to the bottom. Before we start talking about module one, I want to point out a few other things that you might see on the home page. And they are the to-do and the coming up feed over here on the right-hand side. I would caution you to not use the to do and the coming up feed for anything other than making sure you don't miss something that's due. Uh, when you are taking the course as an online class there are going to be things that are required activities like I've listed here on the left hand side that don't have any grade attached to them but you cannot complete the required submissions things that have a due date unless you first do the pre-activity so you have some sort of idea of what we're covering. If you use the to do and the coming up feed as your sole source of navigation and you say okay well now I just need to complete profile picture and then I have to take the chapter one knowledge test and the chapter two knowledge test you're not going to have the knowledge to be able to complete the knowledge test without first doing everything else that's required for that chapter and so I would caution you not to use those feeds unless you're just doing it to make sure you don't miss a deadline um, the better option for our class is to work on the home page from top to bottom reading through all of the content that I've posted in module one that means that you'll you'll read through my little welcome message which is just another version of what I'm saying in these videos and then you need to complete the required activities and for this semester they include getting started in art 1280 Photoshop you'll notice that if you click anything in our class it will open in a new tab I've done that on purpose so that you can open the tab and you can read through the required welcome to art 1280 page which is similar to what I'm talking about here, but there are some things I'm not, so make sure that you read through the whole video. And then when you're done, you can close out of it, and you can click on the next thing, which is the course syllabus, which we've already covered in a previous video, so I'm not gonna talk about that. And then you can click through to course materials, read through what it has to offer, and then you can close out of it and come back. I'm not going to close out of it just yet though because I want to talk about this page before I end this video. So I said in a previous video that Art 1280 Photoshop software is trying very hard to utilize open educational resources and one of the ways that we are using these open resources for students um, to meet our ultimate goal of making the course free to you after you've paid for the course and its fees um, is that we are recording videos to use instead of requiring you to purchase some sort of subscription website. We've developed everything that you'll need inside of Canvas. Um, Salt Lake Community College has partnered up with Adobe and they have purchased licenses for you if you would like to use SLCC All Access to, to uh, work on your coursework. And then in addition to that, we've chosen a textbook for this class that's available for free through Safari Books Online through a uh, subscription that Salt Lake Community College in the state of Utah has partnered with. Okay, so let's talk about what is required for you, worst case scenario, if you were gonna buy all of these resources. Um, there is a subscription at adobe.com that gives you access to what's called the Creative Cloud. It's $20 a month for students, but you have to purchase a one-year subscription to get that price. If you're a visual art and design student planning on taking other classes like InDesign software, Illustrator software, um, premiere editing software courses and things like that um, I think that it's a good idea for you to purchase that it's twenty dollars a month um, and you don't need to buy a textbook for this course so that you can consider that your textbook but if you wanted to access it for free you can use SLCC all access if you click on the link it will open a new tab you need to log in using your my page username and password and then you have access to different software I'm not going to go into the details about SLCC All Access because if you click on the Announcements tab, there is an announcement specifically addressing SLCC All Access. But for us, it's the free option for accessing uh, Adobe programs. We are going to use the textbook that you see on the screen here. It's the Photoshop CC Visual Quick Start Guide. Yes, currently, as of summer 2017, we are still using the 2015 release of this textbook. Um, right now, you can access it for free through the SLCC eLibrary. The book, as, as it gets older and older, it gets cheaper and cheaper. And so if you wanted to buy it on Amazon, it's way cheaper than the $28.93 that's posted here. 
You can even rent an e-textbook if you want it. I don't know why you'd want to rent it, though, if it's free through the SOCCE library. I'll talk about how to get that in a second. In addition to being able to use SLCC All Access to access the computer software for free, the Visual Art and Design Department, which is located at the South City Campus, 1575 South State Street, um, has lots of computer labs that all have the software that you need on it. And in general, any time that someone is in a classroom and you need to use a computer, we'll welcome you in and say, yeah, go ahead, you can hop on a computer as long as we're not using them for our class. In addition, there is a room, room 1-180, it's on the first floor, along the north hallway, kind of close to McDonald's. Um, it is the Visual Art and Design student computer workroom that is open, I think, from like 7 until 10, Monday through Thursday, and it closes at 6 on Fridays. Um, always check that room for the most up-to-date hours because it changes from week to week sometimes. Um, but it has all the software for any Visual Art and Design class that you may be using. And so if you wanted to, you can come to campus and you can hop on those computers. And what I love about that classroom is it's across the hall from where my office and where my other classroom is. And so if you're in that room working and you just come across the hall and down one room, you can find me. And if I'm not busy, I can help you and answer any questions that you may have. Okay, last but not least, I want to talk about um, accessing the textbook for free. And so we can't really get around with not having a textbook for this class. The textbook is really helpful. It has lots of knowledge-based learning in it that would just take me forever to cover. Um, and it would be basically me regurgitating the textbook back to you. So I want you to read the textbook, but the textbook is available for free. Um, you can access it um, from the class. So if you are just navigating Canvas and I tell you, go ahead and read Chapter 6, there will be a link that's embedded into Canvas and when you click on it, it will open and take you directly to the textbook. If you're on campus, it will just open. But if you're off campus, you'll have to put in your My Page or My SLCC username and password for it to work. If you want to go the long route, or you even want to see if there's any other textbooks for any of your other classes available for free, um, you can follow the steps listed here from slcc.edu, which will allow you to find other online textbooks in addition to the one for our class. Again, if you have any questions about any of this, don't hesitate to email me through Canvas or at the email address listed on the class syllabus.